Hey everybody, so I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to add a hit marker to the multiplayer zombie survival template. So, uh, I may add this to an update in the future, so if you already have this in your version, then don't worry about it. But, those of you who don't and want to know how, then hopefully this will teach you how to do it. So, first thing you want to do is you want to find a hit marker image. So, you can make your own, Google it, whatever, just get you an image. I put mine inside of the textures folder and here it is. I called it hit marker. Make sure it's got a transparent background. And the next thing we want to do is we want to go into the gameplay player controller. So what we're going to do is go from HDT into core blueprints and we'll go into gameplay, gameplay player controller or gameplay PC. Open it up you have all of these events. I'm just going to make a new event at the bottom down here. So you right click, type custom event, we'll call it play hit marker anim custom event. Now over here on the right side we're going to make it replicated but it's going to be set to run on only client. Alright, and compile that and I think that's all we can do for now. We're going to come back to this. So I'll leave this uh, this blueprint open. We'll come back to it. Next thing you want to do, come over to the Player HUD widget. So Player HUD widget is located inside of HGT uh, widgets and HUD. And here's the Player HUD widget. We're going to open that up. So here's your HUD. Uh, what we're going to do on the left hand side under Hierarchy tab, click on HUD. We're going to come up here. We're going to find an image drag it on top of HUD, boop, alright, scroll all the way down to the bottom and it should have named it a random number like this. So we're going to rename this image to hit marker image, done, alright. But now it's all the way up here in the top left, so let's fix that and also set the image. So first thing we're going to do is change the image to our hit marker image click that and now we need to get it to the center of the screen so at the very top under the details panel you click on anchors click on center so it'll anchor to the center of the screen and I'm just going to reset these positions for the X and the Y and now we're close now let's see if we can get it right um, I'm thinking maybe 250 by 250 now this may vary depend on your image what your image and how the size of your image but this looks okay for mine let's offset it by half of the image so that'd be negative 125 by negative 125 there we go so there now it's center of the screen lined up perfectly all right compile now in the details panel we're going to scroll down until we see color and opacity and we're going to change the alpha to zero. That way we can't see it. It'll be hidden until we want it to play. Alright, so now you can come over with the image still selected. You come down here to the animations uh, tab, bottom left, click the green button that says plus animation. And we're going to call this hit marker anim. Click that. Alright. So now you select your hit marker and we just made and we're going to add a new track under the timeline and it's a green button with a plus next to it. You click that and then select your hit marker image. Click that. All right now on, uh, to the right of your hit marker image you click the plus track. Click that and go up to color and opacity and click that. Now you can click the drop down on color and opacity and on frame zero you see it's uh, the alpha is set to zero which is good. And at 0.25 on the timeline, you can move, click and drag it around on the timeline. What we're going to do at 0.25, we're going to change the alpha to 1. Hit enter. And then at 0.5, we're going to change it back to 0. Click enter. Wow. All right. So now you go from 0 to 0.5. And you can see it's playing a little hit marker animation where it's hidden, it shows, and then it goes back hidden again. Alright, so let's compile and save that. So now that looks like a pretty good hit marker animation. We're gonna now we gotta uh, play this animation. 
So for anything you want uh, a hit marker to to play, you gotta put it. You gotta call that animation somewhere. So I'm gonna do it in base zombie. So anytime you shoot a zombie, you want that hit marker uh, animation to play on your HUD. So open up base zombie. Base zombie is located in HGT AI zombie and base zombie. Now in the event graph, there is a um, an event called event handle enemy was hit and it gives you every time you shoot a zombie this this executes so it gives you the um, player controller who shot the zombie and it's already using it for other things so we're just gonna um, use it again so you drag off of the gameplay player controller here the cast node and we're gonna call that um, event that we just made earlier in the tutorial that's inside of gameplay player controller called play hit marker anim so go back to base zombie here we're gonna drag off and say play hit marker anim click so now anytime you shoot a zombie it'll call this event over in your player controller to so make sure you connect it back up and compile and save and let's go back over to the gameplay player controller and actually put the logic in here that'll make the the animation for the hit marker play so if you look over here in the variables you have a HUD widget reference drag that into the event graph and get it then we're gonna drag off and just to be safe we're gonna do it is valid so is valid and we don't want the function when we want the bottom one that has a question mark so click that one and then connect it up so what this is gonna say is if if you have is there a if you have a valid HUD then we're gonna play the hit marker animation on it so what we want to do is drag off the HUD widget reference and type in play animation and it should be the top one here play animation connect the is valid to the play animation and now we have to uh, pick an animation to play so drag off of HUD widget reference and type in the name of that animation that we played called uh, hit marker anim so get hit marker anim connect that into the animation of play and compile save now let's go in the game and I'm gonna set it to two players here just to see make sure it works for your server and client I'm gonna hit play and now we're in the game and let's do client first we shoot the zombie hit markers are showing and going away let's do the server test him shoots and he's got hit markers so now both players have hit markers all right that pretty much wraps up the guide guys i uh, hope uh hope you learned something hope i helped out uh make sure to check out my other youtube uh, videos i got a lot of other tutorials i got the documentation uh, i got the support uh, discord support site so check it all out uh, like subscribe tell your friends all about it <laughs> and if you like if you did buy my template leave me a good review uh, I always appreciate good reviews I like seeing what you guys are making and doing with the template so uh, yep I think that wraps it up see you guys later bye